Hello, and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. In the last episode, I acquired the infection ending, not radiation ending. <laughs> I realized that after I had ended the episode. But speaking of which, I realized something else about that ending. If, if what I am to believe is true from my own theory crafting in this ending that I just got, if I went down the route where I chose to kill uh Carlos's team that has Junpei and Akane in it those two are dead they're both supposed to still be alive in that future because Akane has to acquire Sigma with the cybernetic arms and the missing eye and they go up in the rocket together on the moon to stop the spread of the virus, and Junpei, who becomes Tenmyoji, is supposed to still be alive as well, but unless this is supposed to be technically some different reality, where, like, there's a bump that still continues on where the virus keeps going, and it's not technically the E route from the second game, it, it, it's still slightly different somehow, so I don't know if maybe I can go back in through, uh, which group would this be? This would be the Diana route, right? Hello? Oh. Yes. If there is now an ending... No, there's no ending, but there's only one locked situation left. Interesting. Also, why? I'm now realizing this coin flipping situation isn't fully over. Interesting. What's that all about? I don't know. Uh, one other thing that I also realized is, uh, it was my mailman. <laughs> That's who, uh, my dogs were going crazy over. <laughs> uh, so. Weird connection for the episodes and storytelling, but... Yeah, I just... Hmm. Even though that's technically what's supposed to happen, it's not... What happens? Or is that... Is... Or does, in another reality, because uh, the morphogenetic field theory from future to past, does Akana get influenced where she doesn't end up going to the facility, but in instead lives... Just a normal life, and uh, Junpei Tenmyoji just doesn't know where that actually occurs, doesn't end up in the facility as well, and Sigma ends up in the situation where there are different participants, the infection still occurs, and then Sigma and Akane just go into this future where uh, Virtue's Last Reward actually does occur. I don't know. Uh, I just gotta continue on. Where's the next split decision? This one just won't continue on for a while, I guess. Maybe. So I, I can't do anything about you. Unless I can go into the transporter and transport myself multiple times. If there's that random chance as well. Um, gift from Gab. Drink the poison. What was this one? The antidote. Okay, that's not the poison. Why did... Why did this one end? We drank the poison and then... It stopped. I don't remember why it stopped. Uh... Guess the next split decision is you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's you. And the three-way standoff. I don't know what fourth decision I can make here. But I know I can make two in which I shoot Eric and Q, I guess. Unless I can't make... Can't type out Q because I don't know Q's name. Eric. I think it's just going to end up with her still shooting me anyway. Uh, 
Are you... for real? And you were a bit farther than what I thought you were. <laughs> Is that smile this again? Is a joke, right? Hey, you can... mm, looks like it got you pretty good. You'd probably come out okay if we moved to help you right now, but M Mira, Eric, I'm going to kill you. I, I see. Of course. Ooh, only me. One more. Do you have any last words? Mira... I... forgive you. You... look better... when you... smile. I was about to say, because where he was shot, he could actually survive, because it's just like in the Why? shoulder, not in the lung. You're asking me that? You're the one who took the first shot. Y yeah, You're right. But how, how can you be so calm about it? Calm? Oh no, I'm actually surprised right now. I had no idea his last words would be the same as my first. Your first? No, not that way. It's something else. First of all, it's not as if I was actually dating him or anything. I guess you weren't I, really in love I then. asked about the dead photos. I suppose he thought we were, though. I just let him go since it would have been a hassle. A hassle? What about how Eric feels? His feelings, huh? I haven't really been able to understand emotions my whole life. Anger, sadness, pain, fear, mm. and things like love. So when Eric said he liked me as much as he did, I didn't know why. I don't even really understand what he said before he died. So... I was about to say, you're a bit of a sociopath, but now you're doing psychopathic shit! Whoa. What are you doing? I'm going to touch Eric's heart. Ever since I was little, I've always been told I'm callous and unfeeling. Why did the faces on people change? I never understood what expressions were. I'd take a mirror and practice making them every day, but they never quite looked right. Okay, there's a high probability Any chance that you meet a sociopath every day. They just Deep inside a person's chest is an object. But it, it doesn't mean they're evil. This heart controls their emotions and changes their expressions. I remember thinking, that's unfair. Dude, this bitch is more robotic than fucking Luna. Inside, so no one else could see. I wanted to see what it looked like. I decided my first would be a woman, about the same age as my mother. I waited on an isolated street so there would be no bystanders. And then I stabbed her without warning with a small knife I brought with me. The heart gouged out. <laughs> I'd practiced on animals, but I was still surprised by how fast she collapsed. Why did you do this? I want to see what a heart is. I think I'm the only one who doesn't know. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, that's where you hide it, right? I know where it is. Hurry up and show me! I forgive you. So please don't ever do something so terrible again. Can you do that? Why? Because smiles look better on you. Oh. Smiles? The woman didn't answer me. Patted at her face for a long time. So she didn't even blink anymore. I think I know how Eric's oh. mom died. When I gave up on waking her, I thoroughly searched for her heart. It took some time, 
but I soon felt an unfamiliar, warm, comforting sensation. I knew it! It was here! The last expression the woman formed on her face was a smile. Well, that's when I realized that this kind of moment was when you should smile. Hold on, I'm... I began to hunt for that, reaching out and touching heart after heart. Dude, I said, like, chopping up a body and smiling wasn't a good thing. What the fuck? Hearts and always badly. Yeah. But after doing it over and over again, I eventually got better at it. Fear, hatred, sadness. I learned about so many emotions by touching hearts. And there was always new expressions to see. But unfortunately, after that first, I was never able to find that comforting heart. I wanted to feel that warmth one more time. I wandered aimlessly, searching to find someone who held that same warmth. And that was how one day, I came across Eric. Okay, so maybe the Radical Six thing was just a falsehood. He was working at an ice cream shop. With one glance. I could tell he was useless. No talent, no worth, nothing. I've seen many hearts of those like him, but none held my interest. Naive, helpless weaklings. It's as if they're amusing creatures simply there to be exploited. So why, Eric? That's all I saw them as. But Eric... Something felt different with him. I stopped by the shop several times to watch him. I just had to figure out how he was different from all the others. I tried talking to him. I spent time speaking with him, going places together to learn how he reacts. But I still didn't know. At one point, I thought I'd made a mistake. But... This is it. I knew Eric would be different. His heart? I had a hunch when I first met him, and I was right. They have a heart totally transplant? And his last words were exactly the same as my first. How incredible is that? Oh, oh. this person really, truly loved me. Is there a physical difference? So this is love. This. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Junpei. QT, Eric. DT, Diana, Vi, Sigma. Are we at the door to input those? I just noticed. I think that's an anagram. An anagram? You switch the letters around to get a different meaning. The truth is invisible. So that's what it changes to, huh? What do you think it means? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's similar to a human heart. You can't see it because it's hidden inside your chest. Okay, my theory that I had in my head about Q's identity yeah, go ahead. might be getting stronger. Uh, of course. Yeah, I should just take a picture of it. It was red, blue, milk, and then there's more. Uh, there we are. Fight, jump, pour, blue, red, milk. Okay. I want to see if I can... Just do that without looking. Uh, fight. Jump. Poor. I almost typed in poop. Uh, blue. 
red milk. Okay. give a shit about the dog. She almost gets crushed by the door. So what's Akane gonna say about this? I mean, she's covered in blood too, right? In this reality? Because Carlos took his own life? Ah. So, I, I guess, I guess only one team can leave. Yeah, because that was the whole thing with Akane leaving and then Sigma and Diana were stuck. God, uh. See, like, I can't. I can't say a lot of stuff as to, like, where my headspace is at, because I don't know if it's technically in spoiler territory where my head goes because of that one spoiler that I did to my fucking self, but... of Zero in that one reality, but Phi also said that she didn't think the murderer was Zero. So then, if if Mira's just some Jesus Christ killing weirdo, then who is Zero in this case? answer to uh what all is happening with uh clover and alice in the future timeline where it, we technically can't save those people but their bodies I think I figured out something. Again, I can't say it because of the one fucking spoiler. Oh. That makes a little bit more sense now. Yes. 
Okay. That would make... So my theory on Q... My theory on Q could be right. I, I, I can't say anything. God. Ugh. Wow, I just opened up a can of worms inside my head. Alright, what is love? Don't hurt me. God. <laughs> Who wrote that achievement title? Ass. Q and 1. The cross bolt, crossbow icon. Interesting. Okay. I end that one there and I save here. Save complete. Can I sacrifice myself? Why is this open now? I just wanted to l take a look. I don't know what made me look there, but I wanted to take a look. Why is this available to me now? Why is that available to me now? Give me a sec. When did I unlock that? Did I just unlock that with that now? Can I try Q? Can I just type in Q? Jump to here, type in Q. If not, I'm going back to that character screen, and I'm going to watch that. Skippity-doo-dah, skippity-yay. Please input Q's name. See, now, I don't actually know that, if that... Don't know identity. Did I try Akane? Can I get to Ward C? Okay, uh, guess not. Um, that means I'm going into the team select. Yes, that's fine, because I don't know about that. I don't know where this is going. Um, well, since it's new, I may as well, right? Because I... I unlocked everything before I started going into the flows and stuff. This shape looks familiar. Oh. Give me a sec. Yeah. That's over here. Okay. This was the route that Mira killed the other two, and Q was still alive. When did I unlock this? When did I unlock this? Did I just unlock this now? Okay. Let's jump. Reality. the only one here. Hey, Mira? Uh, Eric? I got a scalpel to the chest, right? Yes. Closed. 
Oh. The successful escapee is Mira. That asshole. No. no, that's a lie. The decision has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. What is why are seven people? Yep. So then, what all happened with you? What was all that? Why did I see C team and D team? And anyway, why am I even alive right now? Very good question. By a Do you truly wish to know? Yes. Zero. I suggest you come to the quantum computer room. Everything will be explained there. Quantum computer dome? That was supposed to be a question, but there was only a period at the end of that. Stand up. You. You detest me, I suppose. You are welcome to kill me now if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I. I. This being a soul interaction I between. I want to know the truth. Maybe Mira and Q makes kind of sense. Well, well. It also makes sense why. Gab. Yeah, would be okay with standing next to him. What? what is this? Your spare bodies. My spare? They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional tools. Okay, my, uh, theory went out the window. Okay, so that's how this all works. No. Then... Then I'm... Precisely. You... are not human. The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there. Within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Okay. Then me not having any memories. Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, so that explains why we've never seen blood this? come out of you. This? I know there's something here. It's warm, and it feels like it has a presence. Hmm. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. Who was he? Okay, yeah, no, my... He was called Sean. My idea is Same out the window. Gio. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. I see. Then I'm just a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Every other Not copy has red paint, but Q has orange paint. 
Perhaps for some reason. They exist in an alternate dimension. They may be thinking for them. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. If this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebral physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um, can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? I... Uh, I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Uh, what do you mean? There will be no more. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Play the game. The decision game. Why? The game's already over. That is in regards to the others. You are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Yes. Your choices should be obvious. Press it. Or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer retains all of the data that makes you data you. Memory, personality, how you feel and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it as false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that is strictly within the world simulation. Yeah. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your existence splits one of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. Then, what happens if I don't want to push it? Mm -hmm. All data pertaining to you will be deleted. Oh. Without a trace. Okay, I was about to say, there like... Are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means... That I just... Your existence. Yeah. And you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death? Your fate is narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it, and welcome complete death. You only get two options, however. To press this button, or to refuse. Mm -hmm. This is the, what uh... What will you decide? You have ten seconds. What was the... Ten seconds. Sleeping thing? Your future will be forever undead. I... Whatever sleeping I... conundrum it was.
you know, for a kid, like, there doesn't seem to be any wrong reason to do this. It's just more so like, why wouldn't you sort of situation? At least there's one version that can continue to live. Like, my life might be hell, but at least there's one out there that can live happily. Okay, me thinks that there's nothing here. Oh. That's it? Let me hop back into here then. Yeah, so there's two instances. Yeah. So... I guess... I'll jump to the left first. You're awake! Where am I? W what am Your surgery was a success! Your illness is completely gone now! Is that Akane's voice Mom? actor? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you alright? Oh. Uh, I think I must have had a really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? Yeah, we gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready. Make sure to eat up. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie. And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks. Yay! <laughs> hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my gosh! The game system I always wanted! And all the books I've ever wanted to read! You fought really hard against your illness. So you deserve a reward. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time. It's fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. And it's not real. Virtual reality. Live a happy virtual life. Alright. Uh, excuse me, just a moment. I'm getting a call. Hello? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Is it Nan Quan? Is this Nan Quan Quan? <laughs> is this the Mexican bully? I'm going to get an upper this fall. I don't want to go. <laughs> and I was like, not go to school. Hello? Oh, you motherfucker. Take care, Jordans. Uh, those are fake Jordans. Those are fake air masks. They're real. Yeah. Oh, I never heard of those. Oh! Huh, not the first time I've gotten a prank call. And now I've got an actual call. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's weird. That is 
a really weird coincidence, but, uh, I got a happy ending. And not the one you get from a weird masseuse, but uh, just that, a, a, a happy ending. That's enough of that. Um, save that there. Save complete. But it doesn't actually count. Cool. I like that. So, if I go back in with Q, hmm. Ending of its own. Uh, do I? Which one do I want to do? I want... This one, I'm just going to experience living in this one, but this one I... just... end the suffering, I guess, in a way? I mean, I technically should be dead, so... Why not? That was supposed to be dead in this timeline. Right, choice has been made. So, that is your decision, then. It's fine. I just want you to end it. Hmm. I'm glad I that they see. kept the animation to go. Then, farewell. Deletion complete. Okay. <laughs> Just a direct game over. And more cause for me to wonder what all if Q actually is human, or if that was literally just an electro shock, or is human, and that was just an electric shock to just kill me and make it seem like I'm a robot, or if I'm actually non human. But let's continue with the non virtual version. Zero? Why is it that I'm still on this side? In that virtual space? I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? I was told that I wasn't... I have an old story to tell you. I was told that I wasn't going to be there. I was going to remain here. And a boy with... Incurable disease met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed. So books were his only friends. The boy had a special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However, life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The boy 
just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. And that dream is finally... What are you talking about? The universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. But traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, shit. What are you shit. Be sure you remember that number. A time will come when it will be handy. <sighs> well, that's lovely. No way. Game over. Ooh. Can I look at that log, by the way? All sections cleared of that one. Okay. Uh, save it here. Yep, save complete. I was trying to get my fucking phone out in time, but, uh... I can't. Uh Nuts. That went by really fast. <laughs> 6140. Ugh. I'll have to, like, bring up the save, or my recording, and take a picture of it. Huh. Well. That's. That completed. Where was that one instance where I could uh, type in that password uh, with Mira and them? It would have to be a green part, right? Was it this one over here? Who killed Mira? No. Where did I stumble upon that? No, it was a kill code thing, right? Drink. Run away. Pop off. Don't inject. That's the don't press. Hold on, let me... Back out. Q... Force quit box Q. Cinematic. And then a judgment thing. That doesn't exist here. Whoa. Okay. Oh. 
you know, because I don't want to, well, I, I would still have to end the episode to go back and record that. Unless I can go here and get the, look back at the code just real quick. I can't hit escape. Uh, can I look back at the log real quick? Eight-digit code, menu, log. I can't go back! Shit. Okay. Damn it. Um... Not file. Uh... Oh, these are cinematics, okay. Never mind, I'm going back to the team select, and I'm going to end the episode. I feel like that code is important for there. Why does that branch out? I'm going to try my best to remember that I can do that. Because... After I end this episode's recording, I won't be able to do any more for a while, I think. So... God, that... Weird, 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 weird. Where did that just start? It just starts with us waking up and the cue box is just open. Can I... Can I use Q's name now? Sean, was it? I think so. Maybe I can try that, because I don't know Q's name, but now that I do know it, maybe it'll work out? I don't know. Oh, God, it... The story is thick with eight C's right now. Saving again, heaven forbid. Wow, um, I don't know what to think. I, I just don't have time to explore this, and I want to, I really do. I gotta end this episode here, and, uh, just, uh, think, and, and also, uh, get that picture of that code so thank you uh for coming out i guess wow in the meantime hopefully you're looking forward to more but i'm gonna leave this episode here and leave you off with one final message as a final goodbye in that being have a nice day <laughs>